Hey family, how y'all doing today? Today I am going to be doing a goulash, chicken and macaroni and cheese goulash that is inspired by Soulful Tea. So I am trying this recipe that she said her mom came up with that she cook all the time. You put boiled chicken in it, um, macaroni and cheese, and corn. So I'm going to give it a try. I have all the ingredients at my home and I'm hoping that it turn out good. But only one, only thing that I'm going to be doing differently is adding sausages and I think I'm going to cut up some onion and add it to it as well. So I hope y'all like this recipe. Um, y'all go and show my girl Sofa T channel some love. And when you get over there, let her know that your girl Tiana I going to be me sent you. I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome back to all my faithful loyal family members. I appreciate y'all being here and showing your girl some love and support. Y'all, let's get into this recipe. So, I have what? One, two, three, four, five, six cleaned um, chicken thighs that I'm going to add some water to. I just got them on the stove. I'm about to add some water to and to my water, I added some chicken broth. Okay? So, I'm going to pour this water in, and we're going to boil this chicken until it gets tender and fall off the bone, okay? But I left the skin on my chicken, and reason being is because the skin has flavor, and it's just going to help build up more and more flavor in my pot. So, that's why I left the skin on. I don't know if I'm going to, if I'm going to add the skin to it or not, but right now, I'm just leaving the skin on it for extra added flavor. All right, so now I'm going to be adding my Hey Hey Dust. Hey Hey Dust is my all-purpose seasoning. This is the low-sodium version of it. I have it in low-sodium and Cajun. If you would like to get your hands on my Hey Hey Dust, then email me at tiana underscore seasonings at hotmail.com. My Hey Hey Dust has every seasoning in it that you would need. You do not need no other seasonings if you purchase my Hey Hey Dust, okay? All right, y'all, so now what I'm about to do is get my corn going. And so I got me a skillet and I'm just gonna add some butter to it. For my corn and just let it cook in there. I drain the corn, I got two cans of corn. Okay. You can use one can of corn if you would like. You just add how much corn that you think you would like to your stuff. We like corn, so I'm adding a little bit more. Alright, so to my corn, I'm going to be adding some salt and pepper. And sugar. I like to add sugar to my corn just to add a little bit more sweetness. So now I'm just going to get this kind of mixed on around until it's done or heat it through or however long you would like to cook your corn. Cook it as long as you like to cook your corn. Add whatever you like to add to your corn. Make it your own. Do what you want to do. Her recipe didn't have sausage in it. I'm adding sausage. I don't think her recipe had two cans of corn. I think she only had one, but I'm adding two. So... And do it however you, you know, want to do it however you think that you would eat it for yourself. But this, she just give you a guide, you know what I'm saying, showing you how, you know, her mom make this or whatever. She, like, she she did it her own way. It was certain things that she did to hers that her mom don't do. So, you know, I'm just doing it the way that my family and I would eat it, okay? All right, y'all, so I got a small onion now. And I think I'm just going to cut up about two sausages. I'll just do all three. So I'm going to cut up these three sausages and that little piece right there. And we're going to get this sauteed down in the pan, you know, to give them some color. And also to bring out that smoky flavor that's in them. 
And we're gonna saute these together with the onions. And then when the chicken gets done and everything gets going together, we're gonna add this into the macaroni and cheese mixture. It's a goulash. Goulash is you add whatever you want to add to goulash. That's what a goulash is, y'all. If y'all don't know, goulash is like a dump pot, one pot meal, honey. You throw some stuff together, and, and that's a goulash, y'all. So that's what this is. It's a goulash. So add whatever you like. If you want to add some sweet peas, I believe that'll be good as well. Because sweet peas and corn is good together. So if you want to add you some sweet peas, honey, throw that off up in now. Make it yours. If you want to add you some broccoli to this instead of adding um corn and stuff, add you some broccoli. It can be mac with chicken with uh chicken with macaroni and broccoli. That'll be even good, even even better properly, you know. I might try that. If we like it this way, I just might try it that way another time. But I know my family, they don't eat the broccoli. I'll be the one eating the broccoli out of it. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm adding other stuff that's going to bring more flavor to the dish. Every, y'all listen. One thing about cooking, every extra ingredient that you add always adds another layer of flavor. Everything has its own unique taste. Okay? So, as long as everything works good together, it doesn't matter. You know, what you add to it, as long as it all tastes good at the end of, the, at the end of you know, the dish. Okay? So... Once I get these cut up, no, I'm going to stay on them. I'm going to cut these up. I'm just cutting them on the angle just to make them a little fancy. That's all. And then, all right, so that's the sausage. And now I'm going to get this onion cut up. And we're going to be good to go. Good, good, good to go. So I'm going to just put these to the side. For right now, that corn over there is smelling so good, y'all. Mm -mm. Okay, so now we're gonna get our onion cut up, and I'm just using this little small one because I'm not gonna add a lot of onion to it because I know my family they don't really care for onion like I do. So, just add that little bit, this little piece, and that's gonna be good enough just for the flavor. Just for the flavor. I'm going to cut it up into nice sized chunks like that. They're going to cook down anyway. Let's hit him, him together. All right, so we're gonna get that sauteed up. When I get ready to do that, I'll be back. All right, y'all, so now, we got the onions and we got the sausages and everything cut up. So now what I'm gonna be adding is my garlic and pepper infused oil to just a little bit to the pan, not too much, we don't want it greasy. And I'm gonna add the sausages. Well, we'll let it heat up and then I'm gonna add the sausages. So once this heat up, mm, you can smell that garlic and that oil already, y'all. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. This is just vegetable oil, no, canola oil with um, red pepper flakes and garlic. And my, and my Hey Hey Dust. Hey Hey Dust is my all purpose seasoning. If you would like to get any information on my Hey Hey Dust, Please email me at Tiana, T-I-A-N-A -A, underscore seasonings at hotmail.com. That is T-I-A-N-A -A, underscore S-E-A-S-O-N-I-N-G-S. I will give you all the information that you would need on about my hey hey dust, how you can get your hands on it, and everything, so forth and so forth, okay? All right, so, I'm going to take these sausages and we're going to get them down in the pan. And we're just gonna brown these. We're gonna get these browned up enough 
you know, just to have some color, just to release that smoky flavor. So when we add it to the macaroni and the chicken, honey, ooh, 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 shine, honey. Y'all listen, this right here is just gonna bring another, uh, another, another good flavor to that food there, really, honey. Yes, you better know it is. All right, so when we get this brown, when I get this browned on up, then I'll be back, okay? All right, y'all, so I took it upon myself and go ahead and boil the noodles, but as you can see, I took the noodles and I put them down inside of that broth that was from that chicken. And I boiled the noodles until they got tender. So I'm about to drain the, um, I think I'm gonna drain the juice off of them. Let me see. It ain't much liquid on them. It ain't much liquid, but you know you how you thin the, thin the cheese and stuff out. Cause I got some cheese that I made myself. Um, I had it in my freezer and I just thawed it out. So I think I'm gonna use my cheese with the combination of the cheese that came in the pack, which is right here, which is right here. So I think I'm gonna use the both of those. Um, and I added just a little bit extra noodles. That's why I took my cheese out. Um, just to make a little bit more for my family. Okay, so we got that. I think so now what you're gonna do is You're gonna take your chicken and you're gonna shred it down, you know, and remove the bones, okay? So, just take the bones out, leave the bones in. If you're the type of person that like to have, you know, like the bones and stuff like that, I love the bone part of my meat. I'm, I mean, I do. I like to eat the meat off the bones, you know? But, just depends on, you know, what you like. So, I'm gonna leave the skin in mine. I, I was debating if I was gonna leave the skin or not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break the skin down because fat is flavor, y'all. So I'm just gonna leave the skin in mine and I'm just taking the bones out and we're just gonna have all this goodness just mixed on up together, just like that, okay? I done broke down half of it already. I just used my spoon to break it down, but I didn't take the bones out. Okay, so when I finish doing this, I'll be back. All right, y'all, so now I got the noodles done and everything. I just took some of the juice off of it and so and I, and I shredded the chicken. So now what I'm about to do is I'm gonna add the chicken back to this. And I just want that moisture, that's why I left some of the juice in there and plus that good old flavor that's down in there, that's why I did that, okay? So add the chicken. I'm gonna add the sausages. With the onions. And all that good stuff. I'm going to add the corn. One pot meal, y'all. And we're gonna get all this mixed up. If you don't like cheese, you can stop right here and just let it be just like this. So let me get this mixed up because my grandma, she don't like cheese and I'm gonna take her some out and then I'm gonna keep going for All right, y'all, so I got hers out. So now I'm about to add this cheese, so pack, pack of cheese to this. Like so. I'm gonna get this third on around in here. Ooh, y'all, I hope this is good. I know it is though, cause she makes some good stuff. Okay. Get it in taste and see if I want to add just a little bit more cheese to this or not. I 
It tastes good. I need a little bit liquid. Mm. 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 So I'm adding some milk to that to help thin it out some more. Turn it back on, let it heat up a little bit. I don't think I want to add no more cheese out. I think it's good like this with that one pack of cheese. I think my husband gonna like this. Bang! Like it or no? I like it, but it ain't really got no taste taste. What you mean no taste taste? What you what you kind of taste you looking for? Ain't really taste nothing. Mm -hmm. It ain't gonna be like different like that. It's just do you like it or not? Yeah, I like it, but uh, you got no cheese in there. Yeah, well, it ain't nothing standing out like. What you I mean? Something gonna pop out like I taste the corn. Everything tastes sausage like that. I ain't give you a piece cheese. of sausage. I thought something like that would pop out like Okay. okay, let me give you a piece with sausage. I want a piece with sausage. Yeah, just come taste it again. Cause you on camera. So they wanna know. They be going by your by your tastes. Nice enough. Is it a good combination? We just letting them know if they should try it or not. If it's good. I give it a seven. Seven out of ten? Yeah, I give it a seven. Okay. So that's a good, that's a good rating then. Seven out of 10. I'm just thinking something, think something gonna pop out in it. What you mean pop out? What you mean by pop All out? Stuff that mixing together, something gonna taste it. I taste cheese more than anything. Yeah, that's why I say I ain't gonna add no more cheese. All right, y'all, so this is the recipe. So food tea's dish. I hope y'all try it. I hope you guys go over and follow her channel. Until next time, peace, love, many, many blessings to each and every one of you guys. I'm going to have pictures in the end. Y'all know I'm going to play it up for you. Y'all have, have a blessed night, blessed day, blessed evening, blessed week. Till next time, this is who? Your girl, Tiana, I'm going to be me. Y'all have a good one.